I know you all want to know who keeps calling the sheriff in Otter Creek. And so I do have the records request and I'm about to share it with you. Every room in the schoolhouse is being used for something. You can see right here, we got tons of lumber. And we got Brian. He's hauling it. Hey, Brian. He cleaned it all up. He's hauling it, saving us hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in new lumber for projects. We got empty boxes, but we also have a ceiling and it's gotta come out. And who knows what kind of treasure we're gonna find up in the ceiling today. This building has one of the best looking floors actually in it. Well, this room in the building, but it also has a pretty cool, pretty cool chalkboard here. We see all kinds of different people. Oh, look who signed it. Yeah, I see that. And, and uh, of course. see Super Fan Leanne. And I don't, oh, I guess I did too. Look at that. Patience did it for you. Yeah, well, sometimes that's why, that's why you hire people. You like to delegate. I like to delegate. I'm a very good delegator. I'm a horrible micromanager. So what we gotta do is move all of this stuff out again. So as we work on each room, different things come into the rooms. This is a room where Brian has worked on all the two by fours, actually cleaning them all up. Now we're placing them in another room that George wanted to be my office. And um, these boxes are all gonna be part of the dollar sale, right? Here, come on through, come on through. Mm -hmm. I'll let you, let you come on through, look at that, you see that? Who's the Kool-Aid man? Ca Captain Fumble Nuts. That was not a Fumble Nut moment, that was Kool-Aid man moment. So all of these items in the hall are all items for the dollar sale that actually haven't been sorted yet. So this stuff, we're gonna have to somehow get out of the way of the mess because Brian and I are gonna make a huge mess today and we don't want it to be messy during the dollar sale and you pick up something and you're like, oh, this has free ceiling tile in it. Nah, we don't want any ceiling tile in that. We got a big job ahead of us. Now that we got all the wood and the HVAC and everything else out of the room, Brian, now it's really time to work. Are you ready? Come on, let's go, let's go. This job ain't gonna get done by itself. Have a seat. 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 You have a seat. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is the job. This is the biggest job of the day right here. Are you ready? I call this human bowling and I'm going for a strike. Three, two, one! Got them all but one. This reminds me, you can have your own human uh, bowling game for one dollar as well. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars, and you can play human bowling. I got all of the pins except for one. Loser has to drink Otter Creek water. Are you ready? Oh man! I should have just, just turned the chair. This is no fair. He got a strike. Now I have to drink the Otter Creek water. And rule number one in Otter Creek do not drink this water. Brian and I learned in the last room that uh, we make a mess and a huge mess. So today we're going to try and be precise in regards to making a mess. We're going to pop the tiles out one at a time. Remember this, uh, this janitor cart? That you Jeremy rigged? Yeah, Jeremy rigged it. I turned it into a now a tile cart. So our plan, instead of me just jumping up there and pulling everything down, is I'm going to pop them out one at a time so we don't make a crazy mess. We get the ceiling tiles out. Then we rip down all the aluminum. Then we rip down the other set of ceiling tiles. Then we rip down the wood. And hopefully I'm not here till 2 a.m. cleaning up the mess. This just seems so wrong, Brian. This seems wrong. I don't, I don't know that I like it this way. Teamwork, Nothing teamwork, seems right about this. Everybody, everywhere. Brian, this teamwork, does not seem right teamwork. at all. Teamwork. I just want to crash it all. This is, this is wrong in every way right now. That's how I would have done it. This way? Mm-hmm. I don't know. This seems slower. It's, Somehow this seems slower. It's working smarter than harder. What do you mean working smarter than harder? You don't want me to just You're not going right to be now? here till 2 a.m. cleaning up all the dust particles. No, I might be here till 4 a.m. coming down at you. Oh! Ah! That's how I like to do deconstruction. The boss said that now that all the ceiling tiles are out, that I can go crazy 
Where do you want me to go crazy, Jordan? Look how clean it is. I'm speechless. Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't keeping it clean. Where do you want me to go crazy? Ah! I will go crazy. Where do you want it? Where do you want it? Like this? Watch this. Watch this. Now I can really do some damage. Yeah! This is what I like about these instructions. That's lunch. I'm hangry. You see that there in my ear? Oh, it's crusty. Yeah, yeah it's bad. So. Last time, this is how it happened. I was, I was in the other room in the dark, okay? Uh -huh. So Brian and I are trying to do this smarter this time and be more efficient. And what I was doing was taking these pieces apart and dropping this aluminum rail. You see that? This time I didn't hurt myself at all. Bravo. I'm getting smarter. Hercules, Hercules. You sure you got all that? It's not heavy. It's, uh, it's the wires that are going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, Alright, I want to see you get through this door. I want to see if you can get through this door. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Almost on the side. On the side. And... We're good. Nice! We have a volunteer over here, but she will not be named or shown. Wait, there was a peek. But, but nobody could see that, right? Nobody could see that. Wait, there was a wave too? There is, there's a wave. Amanda is helping George. Look at that, I didn't even see George creeping on me. Why are you always creeping on me? that's one of my duties. I smell. Here at What the Hails is to creep on you. KFC. I am back with lunch, are you hey, hangry? Hey, I'm very hangry. So Amanda told us that this room that George wanted to make my office, this room actually was the carport for the principal to park his car. What? So you know what I'm thinking? <laughs> Ramses would definitely fit in here, kinda. Sorry. Yeah, Ramses will come straight up the stairs. You'd have to rip the stage out. No, 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 no. Ramses goes up the stairs. We don't rip stairs out. Ramses wants the stairs. Uh-oh. Is it lunchtime? Yes. Are you hungry? Lunchtime! Brian and I decided to do this in phases this time. Phase one. Take all the ceiling tiles out. As a matter of fact, Brian's out there right now at the dumpster. Phase two, take all the aluminum out. And now it's time for phase three. Lunch! Man's gotta eat. Time for phase four. You know what phase four is? That means you're gonna be climbing this here ladder. It's, it's detention. So Amanda told me that the bad kids, when they went to a detention, uh -huh. you know, the, they had to go up in the rafters. Really? And, and you know, in school, I was the bad kid, right? Uh -huh. You know that. Did I ever did I ever show you that I can balance this on my chin? Yeah, like a hundred times. Nah, -uh. are you serious? Yeah. Okay, watch again. Maybe not to the viewers, but... You like that? <laughs> All right, I can't keep balancing it forever. because We I should gotta... have a talent show, and that could be your talent. Oh, oh now we're going to use the auditorium for a talent show? Up on the stage. Okay, I'm going to detention. It's going to be hot. Come on, Jeremy! Remember when you said you didn't want to make a mess? You're finally letting me. You spoke too soon. He spoke way too soon. It's raining tiles. Hallelujah, it's raining tiles. Hey, hey. This is what it looks like. Just donkey kick. You would think like Donkey Kong but it's a little more, less precise. How's it going over there in the hallway? It's coming along. It looks like you have a bunch of sale stuff there in the hallway. Yeah, we're, we're, we're about maybe this, this, this close. But there's orbs everywhere. Oh wait, no, that's dust. Definitely dust. Oh, yeah, we're making it nice and dusty. And then we'll make it nice and crusty. Phase five! Phase, Phase five! Five? Phase five! Didn't even know you can down. count that high! You gotta take the slats down. That's your favorite part. No, this is the part that I'm scared of. Because I'm sweating. OMG, Jeremy. Good thing nobody was standing there. Another day 
up in the schoolhouse rafters. Look at you glistening. <sighs> Is that sweat or did you hop in your invisible pool? Oh, did the town of Otter Creek tell you about my swimming pool that I apparently keep filling? every month over and over again. Uh-huh, that invisible pool. No, no, this is what's called hard work. Nobody does the work for you. Successful people are successful on purpose because they work hard. I mean, that's just the reality of it. You can't expect to be successful if you if you don't put the work into it. I know a lot of people define success a different way, but um, in this aspect, it's jumping up in the rafters, knocking the ceiling down, and finding the most beautiful, beautiful barn, pine, trusses 25 feet high oh my goodness i love it i'm putting blood sweat and tears into it but i love it while jeremy's out there resting i came to check up on his progress he's making great progress all by himself this man can run circles around me that's everything that's hanging from the ceiling tiles on the floor tagged chalkboards He's making really, really, really good progress. Now that I got my fifth wind and George told the entire town of Otter Creek about my secret swimming pool that I've been filling, I got to come up here on the ladder. And really, this is the fine tooth work now. I got to clean up any nails. See that nail there? Actually, see this right here? That's for the drop-in ceiling. And that's what did the damage in my ear right there because I was doing it in the dark and Brian and I's plan was to not have me doing this in the dark tonight. So you see he's getting machete crazy down there. Get it, get it, Brian. Get it. Come on, machete, machete. Yeah, you thought you saw machete on the movies? There's machete. He's just going away at it. Woo! Machete. This is how Brian's chopping them. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jeremy, why don't you just get that kid a saw? He don't want it. He loves the machete things. He just likes the machete and break it. That's, is that your favorite tool, the machete? Yeah. The tool of choice, the machete. He uses for pretty much everything. Everything? I might need his machete up here to get all of this stuff out. Oh my Lanta, look at the hallway. Look how clean we are we are down to the wire. <laughs> We've got Amanda, shout out to Amanda. Down to the wires. <laughs> down to the hanger wires. We had an accident here. The hallway is pretty much empty. We haven't decided what we're gonna do with the chairs. Maybe leave them in the hallway for people to sit. But this room we're gonna keep these boxes so people could put their dollar items in it. We moved the tables over here into this room. We've got table right here, not sure where I wanna store. I did move all the wheelchairs and walkers onto this side of the dollar sale room. We moved some of the toys over here on this shelving. All of the books and board games have been moved into the cubbies. So that's a nice addition and then our friend Jerry donated these white shelves, so I included that there. That will add children's toys and games all in this area. There's the hula hoops. They're kind of awkward, hard to store. But I hope you guys are ready to do some shopping because we got a lot to get rid of. A lot, a lot. Brian and I are almost done. All we have to do now is sweep. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt there. But I got good news. What's the good news? Well, I did a records request with the sheriff of Levy County. Remember when the sheriff showed up when I was trying to pay my water bill with Mary? The deputies? So, yeah, the deputies showed up and then they were like, we out! Actually, let's flash back right now to that. Third time I've been in Otter Creek in a row where the sheriff have been called, which is a complete and total Misuse of county Future. funds, in my opinion. Did y'all call? Who called? It's a fourth party call. Fourth party call. That's our keeper saying. Sure. Our keeper saying outside. Why don't you submit your grievance in writing okay. instead of doing? Yeah, nobody put hands on anybody else. Nope. <laughs> nope. nope. Nobody touched anybody. Yeah. All right, we're out. We'll see you. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Probably see you again Tuesday. Not, not a problem. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Would you guys please stop wasting county funds with this? 
So I got my records request from that phone call. You want me to share it with you? Yes. You're going to be shocked at what they said. I know you all want to know who keeps calling the sheriff in Otter Creek. And so I do have the records request and I'm about to share it with you. Now remember when the sheriff come in, the deputies, they say it's a fourth party. Fourth party means it was a dispatch system. And you're going to see in this, well, here, take a look. If you look right under received, it says 911 phone call. That's the fourth party dispatch. And caller name, completely and totally blacked out, so I can't tell. But honestly, not that difficult to figure it out. Remember when Mary actually closed herself in the office with, seems like forever, instead of actually just taking care of my bill and taking my money? I'm about to read you the incident notes. Now, I know you can't really see it there, and I can screenshot it and show it to you, but I'm going to read it to you anyway, just from right here. So it goes through the incident notes. It says, no one's present at the fruit stand, the post office, or Herschel's. That's typically where the Levy County Sheriff hang out in Otter Creek. And it says, no new remark, patrolling area, no one was 10-12. Uh, new remark, changed to a A to a S-54. All right, then it goes into, no disturbance occurred. Someone was disputing his water bill. Then it goes into another comment. Uh, Second Avenue, Otter Creek, that's Town Hall. And then it goes into Officer McNeil, who says this. No disturbance. Mr. Hale was 10-12 the city hall with this spouse. All right, we got to correct a few things here, okay? By the way, Levy County Sheriff, I appreciate you. I truly, truly do. And I understand you don't want to be on camera. I don't get it since you went into that position, but whatever. All right, so that being said, uh, it's Hales, okay? And no disrespect, it's H-A-L-E-S. And I know you see a dollar sign and you're thinking, oh, it must be Hales with a dollar sign. No, the dollar sign is a joke. And our channel is about teaching people to make money and being self-employed. It's not about Otter Creek. We never in a million years wanted to film about Otter Creek, but these people won't stop. So I'll get to that as well. It says, so no disturbance. Mr. Hale was 1020 in with the city hall with his spouse. You want to say anything about that spouse? Correction. I am not your spouse. We're not married. All right. And Mr. Hale, again, it's Hale's, but again, who cares? But uh, advised the city clerk, Mr. Hales advised that the city clerk would not allow him to pay his water bill, which is exactly what Mary said. I'm not accepting your payment. Uh, Mr. Hale immediately, here's, here's where I have some issues, okay? Mr. Hale immediately started filming law enforcement on scene for his YouTube channel. Let's back up a little bit, okay? So, Levy County Sheriff, I know you're, you're watching, and I appreciate you watching. So, when you make a statement and you say, Mr. Hale immediately started to film, let me get this completely and totally correct, okay? Because I don't want to mess this up. Mr. Hale immediately started to film law enforcement on scene for his YouTube channel. Let's, let's, let's back up. Number one, I was not filming for my YouTube channel. I don't want to film any of this. I want to be left alone. I want to live in the woods and I don't want anybody to bother me. That's what I want. Okay. Number two, you have a body cam. You're filming all the time. As a matter of fact, I've also requested your body cam footage with Richard. Okay. And so I'm going to be sharing that as well. But I have to keep everybody accountable because these people keep lying, stealing from me. So the reason why I have my footage for YouTube is accountability. The reason why you have a body cam is for accountability, for your protection, for my protection. The only reason I'm filming is for protection. I don't want to be filming the Levy County Sheriff. I don't want to be filming Mary. As a matter of fact, I think Mary should be fired. I don't think I should ever have to film Mary again. She shouldn't even be in a position because she can't do it. I don't think I should have to film Russ the Sus. Russ should not have been voted back in. The man banked up the town with water. The man doesn't provide clean water. And then for some odd reason, the people vote him back in. I don't get it. This man is stealing from you with pressure loss in the town. All right, so let me back up a little bit. I was not there to film you. I never anticipated you even being there. I didn't call you. You know Mary did. I know Mary did. Okay? And so it's not for the YouTube channel. It's for my protection. The same when you video is for your protection. 
And I'm going to video you all the time if there's an interaction because that's also for my protection. You are a public servant and everybody has the right to video you. And it doesn't mean it's for a YouTube channel. I had no intention to ever move to Otter Creek to video any of the county sheriff or any of the county government officials or town officials or anybody else. I want to do storage units, but I can't. All right, so now that I got that off my chest and you've got your body cam on your chest and I'm going to get that video in, a, in about a week here, which they're going to redact as well. They're actually, it's going to be interesting to see what they actually share with me. So Mr. Hale immediately started filming law enforcement on scene for his YouTube channel. Let me emphasize this again. I don't want you in my videos. Go do something with people who really need help. I don't need you in my videos. Mary should have never called you. Russell should have never called you. You should not be called for these things. These people should step down and allow people who can actually do the positions in the town, handle those things in the town, who won't continue to misuse county funds and call you. I don't want you in my YouTube videos. I really don't. So please don't say things such as that because that doesn't make any sense and it seems silly, but I appreciate you. I video the same reason you video, protection. All right, it was quickly determined by both parties that there was no physical confrontation and no verbal disturbance either. 10-8A, boom, Officer Morris. So those are, that's the information there in the redacted. There is other information that's redacted. It's blacked out. And they did let me know that they will be sending me the redacted. Well, I can just, I'll, I'll read it to you just so you guys, you know what it says in regards to the video, which is, it's very odd. The message I got from the Levy County Sheriff for the video, which by the way, you guys, records is public records. You, anywhere you live, this is public records, okay? So you can get any, any body cam footage, any calls, anything. So, um, so this is the message that I got. And just so we see, you know, Mr. Hales, it does say Hales, not Hale. So Mr. Hales and Lieutenant Scott Trummel, custodian of records for the Lee County Sheriff Office. I'm responsible for review, redaction, and release of all videos requested to the agency. The video requested has been located. The LSSO recently changed our video platform. I, maybe they should go to YouTube. Anyways, bad joke, bad joke. Uh, the training platform, I have not received current training for the redaction software. The training is scheduled for the next week until the video cannot be, until then the video cannot be released. What he's saying is he can't redact the information such as the caller name was redacted on the PDF form. Okay. Once the video is properly redacted, a quote will be sent via this link. Once paid, we can discuss delivery options in the interim. The CAD call service has provided uh, has been provided at no charge. And that's the document that I got. The document is uploaded and available for download in the document section of this portal. If you wish to cancel your request of the video, please reply. reply. And I will not request my, uh, I will not change or cancel my request for the video. Once I get the video, I'm going to share that with you as well. And again, because all of this is for my protection, this is all being used in a civil suit against Russell, Mary, Laura Mott, and the town of Otter Creek. This will all be submitted as evidence. I'm gonna show you a video now from three years ago when Mary initially lied to me about the cost of my water bill, right? She's pulling numbers out of nowhere. And afterwards, I'm in her office with her and she's telling me I don't wanna be online. And I tell her, hey, you know what? You made things right. There's no need for me to put it online. Except I did tell her I'd be holding on to it, that I was only filming for my protection. Three years later, I released everything because Mary not only did me wrong, she did me even worse. And thankfully, my employee at the time recorded the entire interaction. I know you're not going to be able to see our faces, but listen to everything Mary is saying. If you see me outside of town hall and I'm not on, sure. I do not want to be filmed. Not a problem. I'm not going to be posted. Not a problem at all. That's not a problem at all. I try to maintain a low profile. It's not and Mary, easy. Mary, I'm going to tell you the easiest way. So you were just blunt with me. I'm going to be blunt with you. You're a public official. You're in a public building. You That's understand right. you legally can be recorded by anybody at any time. That's right. The way to not be recorded by a person who records every aspect of their life is don't interact with them. 
And so if you stay away from me, there's never ever an issue. And that I'm not telling I you that never I never provoked anybody. I am never <laughs> I am never and I'm not a person who provokes either. Regardless of what you may think as you see things, I'm not a person who provokes. But if I get pushed and it's wrong, I'm going to correct it. Now, I've got a major, major investment into this town. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to stand idly by and let that be destroyed either. So, so I, I'm straight up, I love God. I love family. Uh, I've preached all over the world. I have no problem, I have no problem with people. I love people. But if something's wrong and it, and it comes into my sphere of influence, I've got to take care of it. But the best way to stay away out of that is don't don't cause any waves. Don't interact with me. Just go, if we're in church, I've, I've recorded church services before. I've posted them on the channel. But um, I don't think, you know, interaction in church, I try and keep my worship away from my work. And if you don't mind just marking Pate on that. So, outside of the town, and you also understand that I have to protect myself you know, in these types of situations and with the investment that I made in my property that the camera always has to be running because I have to protect my investments. Yeah. Whether I have it be, no problem with that. So, you, you, outside, of, outside of town meetings and all of that, you'll... My best, my my best encouragement is just go. If you see Jeremy Hales and you don't want to be on camera, don't don't go near me. That's not to say I'm a jerk. That's not to say that I'm not a jerk. It's just to say that's the, that's the easiest solution. Now you made this right, and I had her record for my protection, but. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, I'm not going to utilize this. You made it right. And I did all the background work that I needed to do beforehand, but you made it right, so nobody's ever going to see this. I'll hold on to the video to protect myself, but you made it right, so don't worry about it being online. You don't want to be online. I don't want to be stolen from. And the sheriff don't want to be continued to be called for ridiculous, frivolous things. I wonder how we could work this out. One more reminder for all the fans. If you're a true fan of What the Hales, don't contact Mary on our behalf. Don't contact Russell on our behalf. Don't contact Levy County Sheriff on our behalf. We've got it covered. We know what we're doing. We have legal representation. We've got phenomenal legal representation. Let us do things the right way, the legal way. One more friendly reminder. If your town's charging you late fees and they get your bills to you after it's actually due, don't pay them. You're really gonna make me do this for losing at human bowling? Absolutely. This this is almost greener than my skin. Should have lost. Yeah. All right. Well, extra, extra protein. A deal. Should I say? Who knows what's in it? You know what? You know what boggles my mind is the people of Otter Creek keep actually, they keep voting in the same person who's not cleaned up anything, who's actually stealing from them as water is surging and purging back and forth. We bathe and, in this stuff. And. And he's bankrupt them. Here we go. Oh, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I can't do it, dude. I cannot do it. It that touched is the tongue. That is horrible.